people, welcome back to my channel. And if you've never been here before, my name is Emily, known as Emigal X00. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare routine and show you guys what I do about every two to three weeks. This involves a peel, it involves a mask, it involves a couple of my favorite skincare products, so I'm super excited. Background information, I am a licensed esthetician, so some of these products you do have to be a professional to purchase them. This is my daughter Melina. And how old are you gonna be? You guys can look at my skin right now. I do have a little bit of discoloration and I just feel super bumpy. So if you got blackheads <laughs> that are just driving you nuts, this will be perfect. Um, I also have combination skin. So I'm gonna give you some education about your skin, how to wash your face properly. I put my hair up and I put my hair up in a band so that we can get all the hair off of our face. Next, I'm going to wash our face, so go ahead and take your cleanser. This one is by Glow Skin Beauty. I love this brand. This is their hydrating gel cleanser in their travel size. You only need that much, like a dime. So when you wash your face, you want to use warm water, not scalding hot because you are going to strip your barrier mantle. And when that happens, your skin actually gets more dried out. So warm water and wash your face. A lot of my clients ask me, what is the best way to wash your face? Do you use a washcloth? Do you use your hands? What about a, um, what about one of those rotary brushes? A rotary brush is good to do, but not every day. You will strip your mantle that we talked about. I honestly think your hands is the best option. When I dry my face, I always blot because when you're pulling, it can cause wrinkles. So now is when you would usually use your scrub. You can do a scrub about two to three times a week, just depending on how gross you think you are. <laughs> I am going to be using a product by Gabriel Correctives. It has glycolic in it and I love it. So what this is gonna do is add extra shine to my face and do all the exfoliating with me because it's gonna eat away all my dead skin. See already, I'm using chemical exfoliation throughout this video, not manual which means I'm just not using a scrub. So I put that stuff, it's like a gel, and I'm just going to put it all over. I love this stuff. It tingles, oh, it like burns, which just makes me feel like it works. <laughs> you see how clean like and shiny my skin looks? And also, do not forget your neck. We're gonna wait for that to dry. Now let's do a mask. So I'm gonna be doing a hydrating, look how, I just can't help it. Look how glowy my skin looks. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a mask. If you have oily skin, use a clay-based mask. Really dry skin, use a creamy mask or a gel mask. If you have combination skin, I personally love gel masks and them giving like a cooling effect. So I'm gonna be using, this is by Clinical Care. Um, it is their chill mask. It is a cooling healing gel mask. I love it. And it smells. It's like this really pretty aqua color. And you can use a brush to do this or you can use your fingertips. I am just going to use my fingers. My T-zone and work my way out. Make sure you just go around your eyes. Don't put it on your eyes. And don't forget your neck and move upwards because gravity is the death of us. Perfect. Just got my lips done. The name of my doctor. I will give it to you. <laughs> the dishes. Go work out. No, I'm just kidding. 10 to 15 minutes. I look like the Joker. What's up? And I'll see you guys soon. I'm back. Now we're just going to wash our face with warm water, tap dry. So now I'm going to be doing a spot treatment with a peel. This is by Glow Skin Beauty. This is their AB Clinical Renewal Peel. It has 17% glycolic acid, 17% lactic, and 17% salicylic. But don't do this unless you are a professional 
or a professional does it to you. <laughs> gonna tone with this guy that we did earlier to act like it's a toner all over and then I'm just gonna spot treat with this because it is very, very high in chemicals. <laughs> over, this would be the point where you tone, use your toner. But I really want to exfoliate and brighten today. Here. Thank you, honey. I'm just going to put this on my discoloration. And if I had any acne, I would do this too. Now I have to wait for this to dry before I can put anything else on it. Or if I wanted to do layering, this peel in particular, I have to wait 8 to 10 minutes before I can put anything else on. I know if you are thinking about chemical peels, it is a great thing to do at least once a month. If you go longer than three months without doing it, it is like starting over. Downtime, every peel is different, um, but typically 24 to 48 hours after, try not to go in the sun. If you do wear sunscreen, a hat, all of that. Again, if you guys have any questions about skin, let me know down in the comments. This guy's drying. I wanted to let you guys know that I had to make a new Facebook like page where I post all updates on my YouTube videos and bonus pictures from my Instagram. So I had to make a new one because that one was telling me I'm not the owner. Somebody hacked it and took over. So that one is Gone. I had to make a new one, which I'll link down below. I would so appreciate it if you clicked down below. Click on that and like my page. I would very much appreciate it. Oh, look how freaking shiny my face looks. Oh, love it. I really don't want to moisturize that much because I want my skin to peel a little bit. But I am going to put just a very light serum on. I'm going to be using Aveda. Again, these are just products that I have in my house. They are the Tulisara serums. I'm going to be using a little bit of Calm on my face after this is done drying. And I'm going to use the firm one on my neck and my chest. Up, up, up. We do not want saggy skin just yet, ladies. I'm going to put Calm, which is like clear. I'm just going to pat. It feels so good. And cool. So gone. So this is by Ulta Beauty. The mask and this came in like a kit. This is the juice infused lip oil. So I'm gonna put that guy on. So this is what I do about every couple of weeks, at least once or twice a month, um, just to keep my skin feeling smooth and refreshed and to keep away discoloration. So I love you guys so much. If you have any questions about your skin or video requests, please comment down below. I'm planning on doing one video a week on YouTube and I'm posting daily on Instagram, so I'll leave all my links down below. That I'm gonna be doing giveaways soon, as soon as we get more subscribers and followers. So please share, like, and comment. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.